there, RecTech family, Chef Greg with you. Today we're doing smoked fish, and I've got a beautiful piece of salmon and a couple pieces of trout. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and cure this salmon for a couple hours, and uh, we'll give you the recipe at the end, but this is basically my bacon cure. So I've got some ground fennel, some salt, some pepper, some sugar, a little bit of spices. I think it goes great with fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and liberally season the top of the, uh, the fish. And for our trout, since they're a little bit thinner, whereas the salmon really needs to cure for about four to six hours and can eat, even go overnight, since the trout is a lot smaller, this can cure for about an hour or so and be, uh, be really delicious. So again, be a little liberal on your, on your cure. You'd really be surprised at how much moisture this pulls out. Simple as that. I'm going to put these back in the fridge. We'll see you in a couple hours. So we've let our fish cure, and you can see all that liquid that has come out of the fish. Now what we want to do is rinse that fish, because if we were to go ahead and smoke it with all that cure on there, it would be far too salty. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a rinse, dry them off, and then we'll get them in the cold smoke box. You can see our smoked salmon and trout look amazing. So to really make sure this tastes its best, I'd recommend getting it good and cold. So set it in the fridge overnight. Uh, we'll leave this out at room temp for about maybe 20 or 30 minutes to cool off. We'll loosely cover it with some plastic wrap and then we will put it to bed in the fridge overnight and slice it in the morning. All right, as you can see our salmon and trout look fantastic. They spent the night in the fridge, it's ready to slice. Now again, do yourself the favor, make sure you have a really good and sharp knife and you can also put the fish in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so until it kind of gets uh, not frozen but good and cold. It'll make slicing a lot easier. So again, with a nice sharp knife, just want to go paper thin. You can see that cure went all the way through. And you basically cut almost to the skin and then lift off. And you can see you have these beautiful slices of cured smoked salmon. I'm gonna slice a couple more. This is a great party appetizer. Recommend serving it with uh, some bagel chips, a little uh, cream cheese, but that right there, something delicious.